Pretty cool, huh? You got your ring light, your power source, your, um, this, well, I shouldn't say, this is actually your battery power source. If you go with the batteries, and I prefer batteries, um, you got your AC power cord and your power unit regulator all in this, this beautiful box. Now, underneath this box, you have your adapters. Quite a few adapters here, so you can fit just about every type of camera. That's why I can use my Canon, I can use my Pentax, I can use my Nikon, whatever camera I want. Doesn't matter the um, the size of the lenses. There's enough adap adapters here to use what you need. Aloha, guys. Scooby Chris here. You know, I'm into my photography a lot, and I collect uh, seashells, basically Hawaiian seashells. So I want to show you why I use this unit. This is the newer Ring 48 Macro LED Ring Light. And this is one of the reasons why I can take pictures, decent pictures, with less shadowing um, of my seashell collection. For my camera, I, I like this OD. I mean, it was on sale a long time ago and i picked it up and I, I i love it i love it so much i actually picked up a second unit this one here is a canon pc 1680. check this out just slide off the top right you slide that off and right over here this is one of the adapter discs that comes with um with the kit and on that is a Vivitar 10x macro now getting further down this is a um, Zaykos FLD 58 millimeter lens filter look at that you can see the slight uh, distinctive purple color in that one ah, coming further down is a this is a 52 see 52 to 58 millimeter adapter so i'm going to keep this one on because it's kind of humble putting that one on but that's basically the the tear down of the lenses and the rings now you look at the uh the macro leds this is 48 and there's a l r all l's for left r's for right all's for all so what happens is you, you switch the lights to the upper part, um, bottom part, all together. It depends on how you position your unit. When you open your box here, this is what you got. Now, I strongly suggest do not use the power adapter cord. Now, I went through quite a few of these already. Um, every, any time that I use that power adapter cord within hours of shooting, it literally fizzes out. It, it, it is actually when it was once was a little bit explosive, but it fizzes out. This um, adapter cord puts so much power into um, the unit that it just fizzes out. You're better off just using batteries. I lost three of them already, so trust me. After I lost the last one, I've had the one I'm using now for probably about three to four years. But I bought this as a backup. You got the power adapter switch over here. Up, up is off, down is on the battery, the middle is on power. So I always leave it down to battery. It's quite bright. Watch. Look at that. Pretty bright, right? Now I just wrapped this cord around because it, it's just too long. See that? You, you plug your, your cord into the top part here. The, the output, not the DC, but the, but the output. There you go. And as you notice this, see that? Slides on and off. Just line it up. See, that's all you have to do battery compartments in behind here and you got those that little arrow that points up so push down push up 
There you go. And there's your two AA batteries. So let me show you some pictures of some seashells I've taken out of my collection using this rig. Thank you.